Well, that wasn't a long event. Can we make it any more cliche YouTuber? Let's find out. Got my notes. Let's talk about the event. So, we're going to talk about the highlights of what I liked about the event and one only thing that I would recommend for, you know, just for the future for Amiko. I know you're watching Tommy and these are just, you know, good critiques. Hopefully you use them in the future. But I did like starting off with the history of, you know, the television, where it came from, some photos from you guys on the team. It was cute to see all of the photos of everybody playing their televisions and everything from the past, the advertisements and so all that. It was, it was fine. It was cute. A lot of people laughed at the countdown that started at the very beginning. <laughs> Can't have a countdown without another countdown. I, I was waiting for a troll third countdown. That would have been funny, but a lot of people would have been mad at it, but I would have, ah, whatever. And they started off talking about the five, you know, major categories that they're working at. My favorite was original IPs. I liked that. I liked the fact that, you know, it was what they were striving for. And that's what I like about systems that are original IPs, you know, stick to your guns. Don't try to sway too far left or right to, you know, get too much involved. I mean, we already know what the television Miko is going to be. We already know it's going to be mostly 2D. It's going to be top down. I can't even talk. Top down for the rest of it. And then from there, it's going to be, you know, just your basic whatever is going to be is just mostly minor. You know, like as far as graphics, I mean, I don't know why people are complaining about graphics. You're not going to get the most. If, if, you, if you really are complaining about the graphics, you're not about it. This is in television we go. This is not for you then. That's fine. But don't be hating that crazy. I saw the comments in the chat were like, every five seconds was something stupid. And it's like, just watch it. I mean, there was parts that I didn't like, but I didn't go crazy and hate on it. There was like only one part that was like, uh, okay. So I liked when Tommy talked about the reason why the dates were going to be, you know, for 1010 and his sister and we are all going to remember Karen and we're going to use that and next 1010 we saw in the chat that people were recommending it so Tommy maybe we could do it next year for 1010 and a special event something that you could think of uh, maybe uh, you know a live stream or something to commemorate and maybe do something like that we'll figure it out we'll all be there whether it's 1010 on the Twitter feed or 1010 in the YouTube channel we'll be there and I knew that it was going to be delayed. Um, I was expecting it because for some reason I just got that feeling like they were not going to hit the next when they, they were like, yeah, we're getting everything going, but we're having issues with the warehouse and the pricing. I kind of, I kind of felt it, you know, that it was going to be next time, but it was a cute little another date, four, three, two, one. So four, three, 21 is a cute idea. I'll, I'll take that one. Um... Not a, I'm not mad about that. I mean, I've seen other systems that have been delayed and nothing major happens with it other than just it's delayed. Big deal. I do like that they're going to give special priority to the Founders Edition and give all the people that paid for the Founders Edition a couple days ahead of time to be able to play the system, get it going, and all that stuff. So I'm not mad at all about that. That's one thing that I never were mad about. If you, somebody's going to pay a little bit extra and put a little bit of initiative into a campaign or a Kickstarter, they get first dibs. I don't care who it is. If you back somebody, make them top priority. I don't care who you are. If you don't put your backers first, that product in my eyes is not going to go very far with me. I might support a controller. I might do something minor, but I probably am not going to buy it until like later on when it's on sale because to me backers should be number one for any reason even if it's a founder's edition where they're technically getting something for it and it's, a, it's the full value or if they're putting a lot of money in they get top priority i did like all the stuff that they were talking about they had astro smash they had battle tanks mlb acl sesame street Inken, gold mattel was involved hot wheels we're gonna get hot wheels game breakout missile command and the platformer, oh my gosh, was it was it Froggy Fox? I don't remember exactly the name. Oh my gosh, I am so in awe by that platformer. It looked like Rayman. 
it was so beautifully done. I am going to definitely pick that up. I hope there's a physical copy. If you are watching, you are the developer, and you are watching this video, please make these one of the games that is a physical copy. I really am in, I am just so happy with that game. It looks so good. And even if I got five seconds of gameplay, that five seconds of gameplay showed me what I wanted from that. And I'm just super stoked about that. Now, here is my one pet peeve. Um, they were doing the Evil Knievel and they had Kelly on. And Kelly didn't really talk much and... You know, like, I understand that they're trying to promote that they're going to do Evil Knievel and all that stuff, but I felt like Kelly should have did the presentation, and maybe it was just he would just doesn't have the personality to do it, or if he just didn't want to, he wanted to be on the back burner, but it would have been better to have Kelly just be solo and have him out there and just talking, you know, to everybody and saying, hey, I'm Kelly, I'm so-and-so, I am, you know, the son, you know, that's fine, I, I don't mind, but... Even, even if he would have, you know, like, gave the spiel about the toy and then the game, it would have kept the ball rolling because that dragged a little bit for me. That was my only pet peeve was that one time where I'm like, okay, yeah, we're talking about Evil Knievel. And I understand that not everybody knows about Evil Knievel, but we're here for games. We're here for your event. We're here for the television Amico. No offense to anybody who is a really huge Evil Knievel fan. I just, I, I felt like it was just too much for, you know, to like keep the segment that long. I felt like it should have been, yes, we're going to represent and show Evil Knievel and his amazing stuff that he did. And then we're going to segue into the toy and then we'll segue into the game. That would have been faster if you just did a couple minutes, boom, 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 kept the beat going. Because that part right there just like, it stopped for me right there. And then when it picked back up and it was fine again, I was like, oh, okay, cool. We're good. We're back to normal. And then... That's, that's basically where we're at now. We're okay. We're good. Now, the top game, I believe, won the presentation. I don't know if anybody else wants to agree with me, but Bomb Squad, you, that, that was beautiful. Beautiful presentation by the team. You guys take the cake. I don't care who or what. You guys were the top dog for everybody's presentation as far as video games. That whole event... Bomb Squad won. You had humor, you had props, you had the team involved in a different way than just, you know, minor, like, they're talking in front of a camera and they're talking about, you know, how much they've been in this industry and everything like that. I already got that three times. I don't need that again. You made me laugh, you made me cry, you made me enjoy the presentation, and I was glued to the screen. I The whole time I watched that presentation, I did not stop. I did not look at my phone. I did not go, oh man, here we go again. I was involved the whole time. I was laughing. I was enjoying it. And whenever he hit the button, I was like, he's just hitting random buttons, but it's hilarious. So Bomb Squad got the top prize for the presentations out of all the Intellivision Miko event. I give him that man 10 out of 10 stars. Where is your Emmy, sir? You deserve something. You, let's get him a Tony Award. Let's get him something for that presentation. I also like the fact that they had Rigid Redux and then they had Moon Patrol, um, Earthworm Jim. I was expecting it to be there anyway, but when they were like, oh, surprise, the Earthworm Jim, they actually showed some new gameplay, so that was cool. I wanted to see something more than just, you know, like artwork and stuff like that for that. That was where I got like super jazzed and hyper and excited for that. And the final thing that I really, really wanted to see was, you know, like, and I understand that you're waiting to like make sure you get your patent through and everything's all jumbled with the paperwork probably, but I did, was hoping for like even the box art, but I, we didn't get nothing on that. So hopefully next time. We'll get some box art or we'll get, you know, just something minor as far as, like, the cartridges that we're going to be using. I, I'm not expecting, like, you know, amazing, like, technical feats in the presentations, which, Tommy, you made me laugh, too, with that presentation of the hardware. That was hilarious how you're like, hey, you know this? Well, neither do I. I laughed hysterically on that one. I don't care. I laughed. Like, I, that was a goofy, funny moment, and I enjoyed that. So that bit, you did good on that one. But... I'm hoping next one we get to see something, even even if it's just like a minor prototype, like here's our envision for the boxes, 
so that way we can get going on that and know like where we're gonna be and you know even if you delayed it for a couple times because you're not releasing it yet that's cool but just I want to see something minor please please sir please sir and so the next one that I was super pumped to hear was Advanced Dungeons and Dragons! Yay! I was so happy to hear that Advanced Dungeons and Dragons were gonna get at least one game. That's all I asked for was one game to start off with. I wanted to play something at least from the franchise and I'm hoping again that that's a physical copy. Please. if Even if we can get one company to make physical copies of this, like I just hope for Advanced Dungeons and Dragons I hope for a couple, like, I, I wish we could just, like, I'm gonna start tweeting developers, like, please, I'll back it. I want Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I want so many cartridges. And I don't mind if it's, like, a little bit later, you know, like, I get the digital copy and then I'll get it a little bit later. I'll pay for it twice. I'm cool with that. Because they're all gonna be $20 or less. And then the, the physical copies are gonna be 40 bucks around that area. So it's not like it's gonna break the bank. So guys, that was my take on my reaction to the Intellivision Miko event. I didn't do it live because I was currently working, so I had a lurky, you know, lurky turkey. So what is your thoughts? What do you think? How did you feel about the event? And what games were you psyched for, for when you were watching the event? Me, personally, I cannot go wrong with the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. And I, I, I was psyched to see Moon Patrol, Breakout, you know, all the classics that you can get for a television. And even though I did not have nostalgia for a television because I didn't have the system growing up, it's still great to see a system that has all the old games that I have on my RetroPie. And they're gonna upgrade them. So, thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Bye! Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games too.